Hello and welcome to Inside China Today. I'm Tara Sunderland and here are some of the stories we're following for Tuesday, August 4th. Hundreds die in a Yangtze River dike explosion. China awaits Jakarta's riot study for attacks against ethnic Chinese. And China renews calls for political talks with Taiwan's Kuomintang Party. Hundreds of civilians and soldiers died when a dike in the Yangtze River exploded in central China's Hubei province, a Hong Kong-based group said Tuesday. The Information Center of Human and Democratic Movement in China said a burst dike in the villages of Paizhou and Hujian surprised 150 patrolling soldiers. The resulting onrush of water drowned hundreds downstream, a group spokesman claimed. Chinese flood officials denied the report, claiming all civilians were evacuated and that only one soldier was killed. Eleven dikes have been deliberately exploded to lower water levels, state-run media reported on Monday. China's foreign minister said Monday that Beijing was awaiting inquiry results into Indonesian riots where hundreds of ethnic Chinese were attacked. Tang Jixuan said Beijing was extremely concerned about Chinese nationals living in Indonesia. Speaking in Hong Kong, Tang said ethnic Chinese were burned and many women were raped during the May riots. Beijing has demanded through diplomatic channels that Jakarta punish offenders who participated in the brutalities. An Indonesian human rights group has claimed that more than 1,200 people, mostly ethnic Chinese, were killed and that 152 gang rapes occurred during the riots. The chief executive of Hong Kong Tang Sen Bank Limited announced Monday that new loans would be made cautiously. An increase in bad loans contributed to worse than expected results for the first half of 1998, Vincent Cheng said. The bank reported a drop in interim net profits of $490 million. A contracting gross domestic product, property values that have dropped almost by half over the last year, and a stock market of 50% below 1997 highs are adding to the bank's troubles. Property prices needed to stabilize and employment prospects needed to improve so that consumer confidence would be restored, Cheng said. China recalls Tuesday to resume political dialogue with Taiwan's nationalist government. Tang Hubei, vice president of China's Association for Relations across the Taiwan Strait, said differences are inevitable, but dialogue is a positive way to resolve differences. China and Taiwan have been at odds since the 1949 civil war, when the nationalist government became exiled on the island. Tang is attending the same cross-strait relations seminar, also attended by Chang Yukong, the first top Kuomintang official to visit the mainland since 1949. And that's Inside China Today. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.